Hey, what up, guys? Nick Reeves here from Tuner Zed. I was doing another figure review on the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers White Ranger Legacy figure. I think that's what the line's called, the Legacy series. Um, but so I picked this up today, and well, the day I'm reviewing this is the day, actually the day I got it. So, but holy crap, is this figure just sweet? Like it's the Marvel Legends equivalent of. Of freaking just Power Ranger figures, and it's everything I could have wanted in a Power Rangers figures. So let's look at the accessories. Baby, accessories. I can't if I can talk. There's a reason I'm. Um. So he comes with Saba, I think is his sword's name. He does come with that, and it's actually really well painted. Like the detail, like there's no, like there's no like scuffages where like the paint kind of like wears out. Or like the paint over goes the lines and like there's sculpt work on this sword that's really nice like just all the sculpting and little details are like really nice i love that even the eyes on the little tiger face are painted and i think if this was a hazard project i don't even know if they would actually do that so and then he comes with a little holder thing that like um plugs into a hole on the side i will show you how this works in a little bit but i'll show you how get the sword in here because as you can see this is a lot smaller than this blade so this is actually like there's got a cut in it this is not something I did this is just something they do so this has got a cut in it that you can like just shove through there and have them hold it there or you can have it hold them on this blade on the blade part I like having them hold it there because it's a lot there's less um, cause if you put it on the blade part, like the thing's going up into his armpit. So I like to have it down there by his waist. So, and then to show you how this plugs in, there is just a little hole right here and you just plug it in and then you can like rotate it any way you want. I kind of have it hanging towards the back and then I have the sword kind of sitting. I'll have pictures at the end. So. Anyways, but like getting on into the figure, I'm going to take the little holder off, the sheath for his sword off. This figure is just amazing. I love, I freaking grew up watching Power, like the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers because I had the movie and then I watched the show on Netflix when they, when they finally got it. So, um, I've grown up watching Power Ranger shows and okay, but just like take, take a second to look at how good the sculpt is on this helmet. Just, and then the shiny paint. And then his vest with the shoulder plates are really just the all this individual sculpting. The paintwork is so amazing on this figure. And then the gloves, the belt, his little boot things. <laughs> and then like the white paint is just well the white plastic is just amazing. And then articulation honestly is almost better than Marvel Legends figure. It's like about the same, but there's just I don't know. I like how articulation works on this figure it's really smooth and doesn't screw up so the head doesn't look up too far which kind of sucks it looks down quite a bit so he can be depressed um he can turn his head all the way around his arms um go all the way out that way they will rotate all the way around but they can't stick they can't stick straight up because of his shoulder pads he does have a bicep swivel he does have double jointed elbows and his hands are on a ball peg <coughs> so you can rotate them and you can rotate them at the wrist as well like everywhere and they can go and they can go in and they can go up and down or they can do that like kind of roll of the dice thing as Charmus Prime calls it and he does and his hands are easy to pop off but he does not come with all interchangeable hands I do kind of wish he came with maybe a fist or something some fist that way you can just have him in like a regular fighting pose anyways he does have ab crunch that's um it's actually pretty good it looks like it doesn't do very go far be, very far because of his like vest thing he does have waist swivel and the reason i say his articulation is better than marvel legends is because he can do the full-on splits and i don't think any marvel legends nowadays can even do that so good one saban saban or whatever however you pronounce it and he can kick all the way out and he has got an upper thigh cut, um, double jointed knees, he has calf rotation, his ankles move down that far, 
not really up, but he does have an ankle pivot that's really good. And, and then, ba -ba booyah that's my review, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and hope you guys are willing to pick up this figure. If you're Power Ranger fans, definitely go pick this up, because this is a pretty sweet figure. I look, I hopefully want to, I want to get the rest of them. Um, I had my um, heart set on getting the blue one, because I found it at all Walgreens. I just haven't picked it up yet, and it's been there for almost a month, and no one has bought it, so I might go buy it when I get some money. So, hopefully, that'll happen. If not, I'll just buy them on Amazon. So, anyways, hope you enjoyed the review. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out. Whoops, peace out. <laughs>